Hello, we are looking for highly intelligent individuals. To find them, we have devised a test. There is a message hidden in this image. Find it, and it will lead you on the road to finding us. We look forward to meeting the few that will make it all the way through. Good luck. On January 4th, 2012, we, user 3301, posted Puzzle 1 on 4chan on the slash b slash random board. You guys discovered that by opening the image file with the text editor, there was an encrypted string of text that when deciphered led to a link to another image. This led to an image of this duck. Now to verify that it is us posting images for this puzzle, we will have a unique PGP signature for you to verify. Now, you guys thought this duck image was a dead end due to the message on the image. So, then you guys used an application called Outguess to get more information out of the image of the first puzzle. Now, Outguess is a stenographic tool, which means it helps find secrets hidden in ordinary data. Now, that new information led to a subreddit which had information about a book called The Mobinigan. The information taken by using Outguess on Puzzle 1 gave a code which could be used in the book The Mobinigan to recover a phone number. The phone number was 214-390-9608. Now, when you dialed this phone number, it played this message. Very good. You have done well. There are three prime numbers associated with the original final dot JPEG image. 3301 is one of them. You will have to find the other two. Multiply all three of these numbers together and add a dot com on the end to find the next step. Good luck. Goodbye. As we said in the message, there are three prime numbers associated with the Puzzle 1 image that if you multiply the numbers and attach the dot com to the end, you'd reach a website. We already gave you number 3301, so it is your job to find the other two prime numbers. At this point of the puzzle, we have noticed that people are sharing the first puzzle image more and more, and we are starting to become even more popular. You guys are starting to think that we are an underground society that made this first puzzle to try and recruit individuals who are skilled in cryptography. Maybe we are? Maybe we aren't. Now the two missing primes you needed were 509 and 503, which were the dimensions of the original image right here. Now 509 times 503 times 3301 equals to 845,145,127. This will lead you to website 845145127.com, which is a timer counting down to zero. Once the timer strikes zero on 845-145-127.com, 14 coordinates will be posted on the website which lead to 14 real world locations that are across the US and Hawaii, Europe, South Korea, and Australia. At the real world locations of each coordinate, there will be a poster of a cicada and a QR code that will need to be scanned. The QR code links to an image of a cicada with a riddle on it. The riddle in the cicada image leads to a book called Apriga, a book of the dead. Now this book leads to a website only a certain amount of people who make it to the website first are allowed to access. Anyone else will be denied. For those of you who did make it onto the website, you will continue on with the puzzle in its private stage, where you are not allowed to share details with the public anymore and you are no longer allowed to collaborate. However, we did notice that this information did get leaked. Now, after about a month then, we posted an image on Reddit which announced the end of our first puzzle. This message confirmed that we had found the intelligent individuals that we were looking for. Or had we? Was that our primary goal in mind? On January 5th, 2013, we posted our second puzzle on 4chan on the slash v random board again. Since we had been gone for about a year from the last puzzle, when we put up this second puzzle with the same PGP signature as our previous images, we got all of you excited again. 
this new puzzle is similar to the first puzzle in a few steps. Once again, the first image of puzzle 2 has an encrypted message, just like the first one. When this message is deciphered, it will give an output in code and also link you to a book called The Law. From this book, you should be able to find a new link. From that link, you will discover a recording that is called The Interstellar Emergence. The recording sounds just like this. Also, from the link, it will lead you to an anonymous Twitter account, which gives an image of a bunch of runes and values assigned to each rune. The rune images are called the Gematria Primus. This will come in useful very soon. After you guys find the Gematria Primus, we will post a new message that once decoded will lead to a website. The website will show this image. Once that new image is solved, it will lead to another Onion website. Keep in mind, you need a Tor, a software to communicate anonymously to open these .onion links, so you had to access the dark web. The second .onion site has a message on the site reading, Patience is a virtue. Eventually, the second .onion site will be taken down and reopened, giving another clue. From solving the puzzle with the second dot .onion site, which requires you to ping the website's IP address until the full output was given, it leads to a third dot .onion site. The third dot .onion site once again gave coordinates to eight real-world locations. At each location, there is a poster with the phone number and access code. Now, you guys had to type in the access code on the dial pad in its gemetrified format. This can be done by using the Gematria Primus that I talked about earlier. Also, these dial pad steps had to be done on your cell phone. From here now, the puzzle once again will lead to a website that only accepts a certain amount of the first people who arrive there. Once again, like puzzle 1, puzzle 2 goes private. However, this time there is no final message like there was in puzzle 1. We just disappear without any result. On January 6th, 2014, on the Twitter account which was found in Puzzle 2, we posted Puzzle 3. Once again, there is an initial image which has an encrypted message. Once decrypted, the message leads to a book called Self-Reliance and Other Essays, and gives some code. This book will lead to a new link. The different part about this puzzle is that it circulates around a book called Liber Primus, which stands for First Book in Latin. Interestingly, we wrote this book this book is written in runes, and after being translated with the Gematria Primus from Puzzle 2, it is still very cryptic. The book has lots of ideas, quotes of wisdom, riddles, and codes. Since we wrote this, we can say that the ideas in this book align with our values. Now, one of the pages of the book leads to another audio recording called Interconnectedness. Here's the recording now. The meaning of this audio is not completely known, not even till today, to the general public. Now, a big part of this book still needs to be translated to this day. Only about 20 of the 74 pages with runes have been decrypted so far. This hunt continues to go on till 2016, when finally, we released another image. The image essentially confirms that the Liber Primus must be completed before the next step is given. This puzzle still goes on till today. No one knows what happens at the end. Not even us. Now that you have seen the puzzles we have devised, we will tell you who we are. We are Cicada 3301 an international group looking for like-minded individuals who want to develop privacy for the people. We are Cicada.